Focusing on the left interface between the total and the scattered field regions, let's call this I index of this EZ component right here TFSF. So this is I equal TFSF. To update this EZ field, we can use the fact that H total is equal to H ints plus H scattered. In other words, we can turn this scattered HY field right here at TFSF minus 1 into a total field by adding the incident field. So more specifically, we can perform a regular update on the EZ component as usual, which is here. This is just a regular one-dimensional update. So we would be performing this across the entire grid, but when we get to this particular EZ component, then I will be equal to TFSF. But since this HY right here, to the left of the EZ component, is only a scattered field, whereas all the other components are total fields, what we need to do is add on, or in this case, subtract because of this minus sign right here, the incident HY value at I minus 1. And af so after performing this regular update across the whole grid, you know, we'll have for I equal 2 to I max minus 1 and end, now we can go in and write at the interface, the left interface, TFSF, we can take the value that was just updated and we can subtract CB, don't forget that because that's out here, times HY ints. I'm going to call this underscore to distinguish it from just the HY for the regular grid. And we're going to take this at TFSF minus 1. So in summary, to implement a plane wave, we can perform regular updates on all the field components. But after we update each component, we need to add a correction to correct the inconsistencies in the fields that are stored in our arrays, total versus scattered fields. And that correction for the left interface is written right here. Now notice there is also an inconsistency in the fields, inconsistency in the fields when we implement, when we update HY at TFSF minus 1. Take a moment and write out how you would update the HY component at this location.